The Renegade by Styx. Thanks for indulging. Thanks for listening. Be getting to the New Vegas in just a moment. Um, hopefully that went okay. Um, I've never necessarily done that, like, in between breaks for a game like that. Uh, or for streaming, I should say. And it was something I wanted to try out, so hopefully I can cut it together and edit it fine. Because if you're unaware, I started a new channel with, uh... With archives of my streams and my buddy's stream, and basically what it's gonna have is it's gonna contain um, all types of uh, games that I play with the Hambone and crew. So if you're unfamiliar with that, or don't know about it quite yet, or if you're even listening to it at this point, um, there is a new channel, a new YouTube channel, uh, called... Full the ham boning full frontal action gaming. Yes, it's a porn thing. Um, yeah, and it has archives of all my streams, or at least it will most of my streams, and it's going to feature stuff like you know all types of games that I play with my friends, and also um, other stuff, all types of games, full playthroughs, and stuff like that. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be cool. I'm hopefully going to enjoy it a little bit and archiving it. Not too much editing is going to go into anything there, but that's the plan for it, and that's why I did this. And without further ado, I guess let's load it up and get to the game so that we can put the content on the channel, yeah? Oh, the Renegade's still there. Is that what we want? No, I want this one. I think. Yeah. We want that one. Didn't mean to advertise for sticks, but... By all means, send us some sticks. Colonel Fent demands it. He demands that you listen to sticks. Getting stuff ready. I wasn't... Completely prepared. Alright, so I don't plan on getting too far in this. Today, at least. Hopefully somebody shows up. Because <laughs> I'm a little worse for wear. I don't usually like to talk about personal stuff too bad. But it's been a day. Let me tell you what. Right, so that's a reason my, my controller was plugged in right off the bat. Um, so I tried to make a video today, and like edit it together and do all that junk and blargna, and you know how that is if you stream and do stuff along those lines, but... So, first of all, it was a pretty shit game. I'm not going to say what game it was, because the video didn't even happen, but... It's beside the fact. Um, so I was doing it, wasn't really enjoying the game too much, was pretty much done. Wanted to check out one more thing because it sounded like it'd be cool. And it had to have something installed or whatever. I don't even know if it actually worked for it to run straight. Oh, hello. Alright, okay. You're a sight for sore eyes. Not really, though. I'd prefer if you didn't hang around here. I didn't think we'd be getting into it this quickly. Yeah. So anyway, my story. <laughs> um, so, it had to install something or whatever to play this certain like game type or game mode or this certain server. And, uh... So I install it, and it just basically crashes my entire fucking computer, and also, like, breaks uh, the recording, so the recording's just gone, it doesn't exist anymore. Same thing with my audio recording, it just 
failed to save it because I had to restart my computer because it just like crashed my entire computer. So it was a pretty shit game. I didn't enjoy it too much in the first place, but it left me in a foul tasting mood. But I figured I'd try to continue streaming and doing stuff and making content anyway. Then, so here we are, just shooting rockets at a dude who's fucking having a blast. Whose name is Beast. I think I may have killed Edie in the process. No. All right, so this part's gonna be a bit of a bitch. Let me level it up. Cause I remember this part. Oh, don't you worry. I definitely remember this part. Uh, we're gonna be faced with the full effects of what the divide has done to this place, and that includes it dealing with Deathclaw. Apparently. Believe it or not, I know. Straight up Deathclaw. Wanna level up. Are we... Are we actually... Are we actually right now? Come on! Why? <laughs> of all the things... Damn MREs and junk food I keep picking up in it. We've got a lot of crap. We need to get lit rid of a lot of crap. I just pick up a lot of crap. That's just like what I do. Let's stick with the red glare for now. Oh, I remember what else we picked up. Some of this. <laughs> I think actually neither of them. Surprisingly. Um so marked beast face helmet. Cool looking. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm using the wrong... <laughs> the wrong capture device. I apologize. It just looked a little... colory there for a minute, or something like that. I hope I didn't break your immersion too much. But what do I care, right? I'm just a streamer. I don't, really, I don't really even know that I can consider myself a streamer, if that makes sense. Because when I think of a streamer, I think of, like, somebody who actually streams games and has success with it and has people watch them. Nobody really watches me. I kind of just do this for the hell of it. For, like, pure fun. What are you excited about? Are you excited about my new gun? I will admit, it is rather exciting, but you don't- oh. Okay. Mine too. Needed one of those. Perhaps to sell shit that I don't- Mmm. The Pokemon got me a little rowdy. It already got <laughs> in a tizzy of a mood, so it's not necessarily a bad thing, but you know how it is. I can't bring myself to sell any of this, you know? It's a it's too important. It's all far too important. I've got one pre-war money just laying around. I mean... I suppose... Ooze. Necessarily. I don't really want these missiles. <clears throat> okay. So, basically we're about to walk into pure hellfire and death. By that I mean like actual death claw and shit. Oh, check that out. Top secret weapon, don't see me. Blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up! 
Okay. Still coming after me. Let's test this baby out. I might want to start running. Nope. Alright. We're good. It's actually a pretty good gun. That would not be a good... Arc welder. I see. Oh, we got up here shooting flares. Oh, I got him. What do you know? For some reason, in this state of the game, they uh, decided to go with uh, shoulder mounted guns for whatever reason. I guess they were just kind of exhausting their ability of guns that they could create and just kind of went with it. Started trying to create some new stuff. May or may not have worked out good for them in the end. Here. Decent one. Probably gonna result in me killing myself. I get out the anti-material rifle and do a few things. I normally, like I said, with my bitching, I don't normally like to uh, bring in like necessarily like personal stuff because you know it doesn't necessarily matter that much to you, the viewer. I wouldn't think you're here to listen about like games and listen to my gameplay, I would think. I would hope. Unless I was like actually popular or something. But uh And I also don't like to talk about like other games while I'm playing a certain game. That makes sense as well. I don't really know where I was going with that. Um oh I do remember though. I get myself off track a lot as well. Um, so, like, with games like Pokemon, as you know I'm currently playing, if you know, you might not know, I'm currently playing Pokemon. With that, it's very easy to, like, kind of, like, read chat, or at least I feel like it would be an easy game to read chat. It doesn't require my full attention all the goddamn time like this does, like, this kind of requires my full attention, and I might miss some chats. But, at the same time... At the same time, I mean, they're both interesting. It's just like, you gotta take the good with the bad of what you want to see. With, uh... With the gameplay. Like, I want you to be fully immersed in the gameplay. I want you to watch what I'm doing and have fun, but I also want to chat with you and have fun too, but what I'm trying to say is that it's a lot easier with a game like Pokemon than it is with a game like this that kind of requires my full attention. So with that being said, that is a thing that may happen, and if you're in my chat and I don't read your message right away, that's why. <laughs> but the game comes first. Now then, with that being said, 100% focus on the game from this point out. Check this out. We finally got the advanced riot gear. The armor I've been waiting for the entire game. Which for some reason... the ED. It's uh it's the armor that's featured at the beginning of the game. It's actually NCR. No, it's just the riot. I don't think I ever got this one. This is like advanced advanced and it has the Ferrari logo on my helmet. It's green. There's a different one that comes later. I don't think I ever got this one up here. But it's featured on the, the front of the game. You see a dude, like, at the, the very first cutscene with this on. 
He's an NCR Ranger, I guess. And they wear this. Although you really don't ever see them in the game. You might? I don't actually know. It's been a really long time since I played this game. But I know this is only one of the only places that you get this armor. And it's like different, kind of. This one's definitely different. Like, I don't remember getting this one. Compared to the one you get a little later. And then there's also the Desert Ranger combat armor that you get too. So. The whole reason I came up here was to see what the hell was ahead of me. And I don't really see anything. Let's play Ulysses Log. Big empty. There's something hidden there. A crater. Past wind and sand. So deep in the desert. There's no turning back. I don't see anything. Find I'm also falling slowly was following down more the than I'd like. It. Source tracked it like following a river current, left the colors to mark my way, like always, in case someone finds them. I see Where things on my blip, but I don't see anybody the over here. Might. But I thought sand and oh, would never end. Deathclaw came to the crater, and there, talking about there was an old world facility, a weather satchel charges. So, oh, there's two death claw there. Not good. Oh no. Oh no, boy. They burn out and die. Edie, please. There we go. Please. Yeah. You can always respect a good kill. <laughs> a good shot in awe. A shock in awe. I can at least. Don't know about you, but. So, this Ulysses dude. What we know about him so far is that he was Courier 6 and. In result of the... Oh my god. Oh no. Please have mercy. Get him, Edie. Get him, Edie. <laughs> oh no, 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 don't kill. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just trying to talk about shit and... Fucking dude. I'm so dead. Like, there's no chance I'm living this, is there? Alright, go for it! Uh! I've never earned a perk while dying. <laughs> well, this is gonna be a bit of a... bit of a hassle, let me tell you what. So anyway, um, this Ulysses dude, for whatever reason, was Courier 6 in the main storyline or whatever. And it's now not, or what was replaced by you, you being like me, like the character you, you know. But uh, 
and you're trying to find out why or whatever. And I don't necessarily know why, because I didn't finish this. So I hope to find out. But also at the same time, he likes to fucking talk a lot about stuff and goes on giant ass monologues. I don't know if that was just a result of them trying to finish up DLC for this game and just like info dumping or if like that was actually you know how it goes and there's a lot of story behind it but it does seem like he talks a whole lot longer and more than he needs to in my opinion that's just me oh come on Goddamn reload. One hit from these things, and I have like no health left. How in the world am I gonna get through here? Like, legitimately. I'm failing to see how I'm legitimately gonna get through this part without dying. I'm gonna take some buff out to see if that gonna soften the blow a bit. What did I even use? I could try the fat man. I don't know if I want to do that though. Alright. Let's try the fat man. Assuming I still have it, yeah. You are gonna have to take that and that for now. This is probably a really bad idea, <laughs> for the record. Like, the only problem is, is that he jumps right down in front of me. So... I don't know what, um... Oh, apparently I can't even use these mini nukes. What are these? What is that? What is that for? Do you need, like, a specific... ...gun for that or something? Jumps down off to there. Not go in here. Beauty, you might want to fucking move. Better idea. Actually, bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Oh! Oh my goodness! That had. Very negative repercussions. <laughs> We're going invisible, fuck it. Please die. And don't kill me in the process. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Alright. New strategy. Let's just walk past it. Yeah? Did it fuck off? I wanna fight it though. <laughs> I wish I can like... Can I like get in here and then... Get out real quick? Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, uh. Okay, good, good. This is good. Edie's probably dead though, and I just knocked the- What the- What was that? What has happened? I broke it. I broke my fat man. Did I just duplicate my fat man? Well, I broke both my arms. Okay, and uh, I broke the game too. Alright, so for whatever reason, I broke both my arms during that. 
And now it thinks that the fat man's floating in midair. It's probably gonna break the game. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh. oh, my arms are now broken. Okay. You win some, you lose some. Does it for the fat man. It appears I've also activated the glitch where, um, anytime I walk around, it thinks my arms are broken. So, like, it's gonna be all stupid about it and make goddamn noises, which eventually is probably gonna break the game. Like, I'm not even kidding. Look at all this ammo! I don't even think I can hold it all. Edie, you're gonna have to take some ammo, bud. Need all this 308. I definitely don't need these. Or those. Or the 5mm armor piercing. Eh, it might come in handy. Way too much electron charge packs, that's I don't know what those are or what they're for, but can't appear to use them. Let us continue on maybe after we heal Broken Arms. I thought I just got a doctor's bag, but I guess not. Do I have anything with me? Besides purified water, which I could probably do with getting rid of. It's like, I really don't need any of this. It's all unnecessary. All I'm trying to do here is play through the game. So. Everything else is just going to have to lurk in the shadows for now. We have one more death. Ugh. I don't I don't know if you want to go with the incendiary. <clears throat> Roughing it bedroll kit. The Ruffin' It Bedroll Kit allows you to sleep just anywhere out under the stars. Select in your Pip-Boy and sleep your cares away. I don't ever remember getting that. Cool. <clears throat> Ruined Highway Interchange. Put it in there. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Snipe like you never meant to snipe before. Armor piercing, armor piercing, armor piercing! Oh! Hopefully it's fucked on the side. Yeah! Telling it like it is. Right off the goddamn bridge. Edie, you're a trooper. Why can I only have five of the armor piercing? For the incendiary. Eat that MRE eventually. They basically just gave up with food at this point. Like if you had food previously that you had to worry about, they're like, nah. Here's some MREs, you're fine. Got books too. Oh my goodness. I don't even need half of this really. Taking it for taking its sake. 
sleep there if needed. Don't need any of that. Oh, what? Hey, oh, uh, respect, sir. I think you're making a mistake. We're close to a breakthrough with the Duraframe iBots. I can feel it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I understand that we need the Duraframe assets for Hellfire armor, but... No, sir. Yes, sir. I understand, sir. I'll tell the team to start disassembling the ED series prototypes right away. Eddie, you little rascal. Were you eavesdropping again? I think those videos you watch are a bad influence on you. How much of that did you hear? Hmm. Didn't Dr. Grant say she'd upgraded your navigational systems? Now I think I have an idea. How'd you like to be just like Ralphie? Um, sounds like Dr. Lee was a bit of a rogue element. You court everything that's said around you? Really? Well, I better be careful what I say to you, huh? No, E, I don't want to hear your recordings of human mating calls. That's just wrong. Alright. So, I think that's the same dude, obviously, who created the ED stuff. I don't know if it's the same one who creates the other ED that you have, or if they're, like, cross-compatible or what, but... You know, they exist. Huh. I thought that activated something when you... Yeah, I thought that gave you sneak sight. Maybe it's only in the dark. Fine, this death boss just chilling, just hanging out. It's also dead now in one shot, which is pretty good. I was very satisfied with that shot. I didn't think it was going to kill him in one hit, but... Lead line metal box. Hell yeah. Take as many drugs as you need, kids. Drugs are the way of the future. A lot of radiation here. Which is, I mean, it's to be expected, but... Yeah, you hear that, like, fumbling around? It still thinks my arms are broken. It's probably eventually gonna break the game. It's been known to happen, at least on my account. I don't remember if there's like a... Sh shit. <laughs> oh no. Well, there's only one thing for it. Yep, you guessed it. Fireworks! Only thing I can think of that's taken up weight. That was actually gonna come down. No, I don't think so. Don't think those ever come down. They're really just very accurate. Can we move now? Um, I saw a nuke down there. Uh. I just got a random experience for something.
I'm not entirely sure what, but I most certainly did. Is the Freeman. Can I get up here? This is what I'm trying to do right now. Maybe? Yeah. Oh. Hello. Someone's burning books up here. Another Ulysses log that I probably missed my first time around. Cave fungus, which is labeled as food. Let's listen to it while I eat a cookie, shall we? I walked the Great Salt Lake as Kaiser's eye, then his hand. Mongrels there, two legs and four. Saw the walls of New Canaan at the scavengers circled, and the strength or fire to take. Too high, too strong. White legs. They were born for war. They run to it, hungry for battle. Yet their hunger is to be a part of history, something larger. Like the Legion, as always, brought them a message from Kaiser. If New Canaan burns, Kaiser might see them. Might. Even the chance was a lie. To honor Kaiser, destroy the history of New Canaan and the way they carry it in their generations and family. Kaisar respects a such strength, I told them. That, that was truth. Even if strength wasn't the word. Obedience. You must be willing to kill anyone. Children, mothers, the weak, elders. If these new Canaanites value the generations, that is what you must kill. It was like Wolpus was speaking through me. Use the night. Silence and fire to change their words to please the screams. No need for bombs when hate will do. I ask the white legs to destroy a people with Oh death from history lost to time. Sorry for possibly ruining the end of that. I didn't really have a choice. Again, a lot of monologue. Don't really know what the fuck he's talking about. He's just kind of talking. Alright. Lester. Everyone is gone. Everyone is gone, Lester. Fucking fuck. Drop chems, not bombs. It's all end. I give a shit. 
takes a chance. You know, it always seems like all everyone who advocates for like peace and that stuff, they never get it. <laughs> it just always seems that way. The rest of these enemies are, but they be afoot. They be around here somewhere. I think they're on the bridge for whatever reason. I don't really ever remember coming under here, but I am investigating it now. He seems to think it knows. Reloading. Don't know if I can actually benefit from that. I don't I'm just on the cusp of being overburdened all the goddamn time. I gotta give up something. Don't really need plasma grenades. Oh, it's down here? Check this out. Uh, I thought if you shot grenades, they blew up. Might help if I don't miss. Okay, I guess not. Maybe I'm wrong. And once again, just completely overburdened. What are we gonna get rid of? I don't. Get rid of like a few rockets or something. I don't even know. I don't even know what to get rid of. This. Can I eat any of these? Look, more rockets. Yay, I'm glad. <laughs> Let's just get rid of them. Where are they at? They're like half. I'm not using them at the moment. What do you mean? Oh, did I just pick them all up? God damn it. There. See, look at that. Alright. Where are these last two sons of bitches? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, uh. No. No more Deathclaw. This is not a thing I need right now. Actually, that... Probably not. Back to the, this. Armor. Oh my god, I'm so fucked. Something. Not okay with this. Gotta be what it is, right? Like, there's no way it's not another death claw. Oh my god! Yeah. 
It actually caught me off guard there. No, fuck you, don't look at me. Fuck you, don't look at me. Not hitting it at all, am I? Yeah, yeah that's where I was aiming. Yeah, thanks, Fats. Why is it aiming me up here? Stupid ass game. Alright. Okay, I think that's it for the death clause for now. I say that as I see another blip pop up on my radar. Hot damn. What is this? What is this? It really better not be another death claw. Better just be some dudes that are chilling. Having an A-OK -okay time. Something along those lines. Or, yeah, I guess in this game I see people from a million miles away, too. Like, also, so... They may not be necessarily as close as you think. I've triggered. I've triggered the fight. Whoa, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, hey, dude. Bone saw is ready. And coming after me with his bone saw. Um. Yeah, so I think Vats is broken. Just, just a hunch. Just like a, just like a, a thought. It might be broken. It just might be broken. There's a high possibility that it's like broken. gonna say it's not even showing that I was doing anything. Guess what other dude? My patience has tried today. I have much longer to live. Or you can come fight me. IRL. Yep. Probably not even gonna hit you. That's how bad I am. I hit him. A sniper? That's not fair, bro. Oh, look, now my thing works. I think it hit ED. <laughs> or close to. Please don't hit the sign. Come on. It's loading back and everything. There we go. Alright, so, um, it got dark pretty quick. Yeah, it did. Let's, uh, let's test out that sleeping uh, mechanic, yeah? I don't know where it's at. Elder's key card. What was it even called? Don't even know what it was called. Is it in my aid? I fit bed roll. Hey campers, lights out. Close it. Hit boy starts sleeping. What? Excuse me. 
what I, I did. Did I did that? Not working. It's not working, dude. Why is it not working? I'm upset about that. Let's see what this guy had. Sniper rifle. I don't remember being able to shoot sniper rifles that fast, but whatever. Oh, hey. Move. Everyone down. Just setting off explosions. Nobody hears them. Alright. I didn't want to do that. Close the pit boy to start sleeping. I think it's lying to me. I think whatever this item is, is lying. I don't have any faith that it's telling me the truth. More rockets. Yippee. Is this actually like a cave that I blew open? It would appear so. More of these lead line metal boxes that just have every bit of healing I'll ever need. Good, I'm glad. Uh, yeah. Nice. Still can't sleep though. I don't know what that's all about. He said close the pit boy to start sleeping. And, uh, don't see them to work, so... I don't know what is up with that. I don't know how it works. Do I have to wait? Or something? I don't even remember how to do that. That, nope. T? I don't really want to wait. I don't really want to just stand here in the dark for like 10 hours. I guess I'll just find a normal bed. What is all this crap? Why is all this crap here? Actually switch back to my... All American. Do I really need to be scavenging through these crates? Probably not. Quick looky-loo anyway, see if I can't find any... ...healing abilities. I hate the drugs wearing off in this game. They didn't do that in Fallout 3. Bed? Bed? I don't see a bed. We're gonna have to... ...brute force it in the dark. There's a gun up here, though. Sniper rifle. Very strange. Oh. Oh, wow. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take the 308, because I might use my... Um, M1 Grand? Is that what it's called? Well, a battle rifle, but it's based off the M1 brand. I'm hitting the wall. I wasn't watching. I wasn't paying attention. My bad. Whew. Okay. So we can't sleep. In here, at least. Is there a bed by chance that I missed? This is locked. Petrol charges. Look, there's another one. Oh, net. Good! I am glad that that's what that does. It's not working. It's, I don't know if it's supposed to work, but... It don't work, so I'm getting rid of it. It takes up 15 pounds each, so... There's more or less probably just a lot of random beds laying around here somewhere. 
how like underweight I am now. I lost a lot of extra luggage. Kill bone saw. Music's getting creepy again. It's all good. It's all good, man. Found the Ashton silo controls. Oh, wait, hey, wait, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Don't do that yet. That. Industrial hand. Yeah, again, a lot of weird weapons in this one. Not entirely sure. Alright, so, um, this is gonna be fun. Does it launch right from here? Yeah, it does. Bye! See you later! United States. That's how easy it would be. Apparently there's just like a little bit of a room here and... Not nearly as cool of an explosion as it needs to be. Good. You're back online. A lot of experience for that. If you stay here... They'll dismantle you for parts. You have to go now. I've uploaded destination coordinates for our outpost in Navarro into your system. I want you to go to the Enclave there, okay? Do you understand me? It's gonna be a long journey, my little friend. I'll have to fly very far. Fly very fast. Can you do that? I know you can. Careful out there, Eddie. Maybe I'll see you again someday. Ugh, okay. So. Took a quick little food break there. Melee weapons is all the way up. Uh, what else do we need to improve on speech? Give some barter points. Whatever possible level we need for anything. Oh, cool. Let's 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 just do that. Cause I don't necessarily care about the perks. Mr. Mushroom Muffin, hello. Succeed, you must believe. When you believe, you will succeed. Anytime you say hello to my nightbot, he tells you a tip of the day. Or like a key to success. You just missed the nuke, pal. I hate to say. Oh, 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 oh. And things are making noises and actually coming at me. And that, no, not good. Not good. Oh, what? Okay, that one just disappeared. That one just straight up disappeared. <laughs> God damn it. Quit exploding. Why would you want to go down there? Why would you want to continue to go down here after all the ex explosions happening? I guess we have to, huh? Oh, survive the elevator ride. Good. Alright, let's quick save again. <laughs> Shit all over it. Come 
No. No, 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 no. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the gears. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I got stuck in the gears. I can't activate my Pip-Boy. Okay. A little haphazardy. Goodness. Doing it. First time playing Ronesome Road? Actually, no. I started it a long time ago. But I never finished it. And I'm dead. Because I was answering that question. <laughs> Those things are tough. Um, I started it a long time ago. But I never finished it. And this is the file that I left off on. So... I recently started to want to play some more RPGs, if you can hear me through all these explosions. And figured this would be a good place to... to, uh... test my abilities by finishing the level... or the DLC that I'd never finished. And if I could reload fast enough and activate my Pip-Boy... Why am I moving? Is tab the move button? Why is tab the move button? Or is it just like moving me around? I don't even, I have no idea what's happening. But yeah, I never finished it. I started it, never finished it. So that's what I'm doing right now. Let us just take all the world's drugs. Uh, now we're addicted to some stuff. That's good too. Are we good? Are we gonna live? We might. All right, try some bats. Whoa. Dude, your face is a little fucked up. Now I'm addicted to buff out too. I'd like the ending plus you get an amazing ward. I don't know what the ending's gonna be. I'd prefer if you didn't spoil it. Cause that's kinda why I'm doing it. I'm gonna... find out. I know you... kinda meet up with like Ulysses or something. That's what the, we're going towards at least. This is insanity. What is happening right now? I'm just getting baffled around with, like hellfire. Like the explosions are actually moving me around, I'm pretty sure. Like that is what's happening. Well, we did it, I think. Are you done exploding? No. I'm just gonna drink a lot of water. Forget about my problems. <laughs> drink my damn water. You won't? Alright, thanks, bud. I'm probably gonna die a whole lot, and it's gonna be really funny. So if you wanna stick around, man, be my guest. I'll get to your messages as soon as I read them. But as I was trying as I was kind of explaining earlier when someone was here. It's, like, a game like this is kind of, you kind of got to focus on what you're doing, especially when it comes to the combat. So, you, you don't always get a chance to respond to stuff if you're in the thick of it. But, I do try my best. I just took lo those all by accident. Didn't mean to. Oh my god, these explosions are, they're getting to me now. <laughs> they're a little unnecessary. Let's just... Hammer through it. Good lord. Can you stop? Are you done? What's that all about? Do those things actually poison you? Or is that just because I'm addicted to, to, to the stuff? Either way, it's annoying. I don't think they poison you. No. Hacking, my favorite. See, like this. It's a perfect opportunity. The action is stopped. I can now look at chat. Yeah. In intense moments. Hope you don't expect too much from me. I'm only one man. One very stupid man. Who can't even figure out how to... Go to... Simple... Unspeakable, unbelievers, effectively thing without breaking it. Uh, I could probably get it, but I could also mess it up. Unbelievers is a three out of eleven, so it's probably not unspeakable. 
It's either this or effective. I'm matching up the letters. I think it's this. I could be wrong, though. YOLO, right? Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! Well, I don't think we can get back into this now, can we? Shoot it a lot? I'd almost forgotten. Oh my! Why? <laughs> Who just unloads like 30 million rockets at your face as soon as you open the door? Is that an effective battle strategy? Is that what they're designed to do? It's too late. It's too late, I already failed. Oh! Oh, finally! Finally, we found the auto docks, I think. Is this gonna help me with all my problems? Is it? Even chemical? Yeah. I think we're good. Except whatever we took is still affecting us, so. It's very effective, if I do say so myself. I'm also a very bad punter. So, be aware of that. Fixing things. <clears throat> Sorry. Alright. Let us... Maybe repair our... That's something that's gonna have to happen. And now we have... What a damn shame. There's one way have I been collecting all the upgrades for Edie. I got the first one. I don't know where the other ones are at, but Um they're around somewhere. I'm assuming there must be one in here then. That may be why you mentioned it. I thought that dude was standing. They're pretty easy to miss. After this, I was thinking of, uh, replaying Fallout 3 again. I've pretty much, like, I've basically done everything in this game a dozen times, and I've also beaten it a few dozen times as well, but, like, I never beat this DLC, which is why I'm playing it. So, I don't necessarily care too much to get all the upgrades, because I don't think it's going to matter once I beat it, you know? I don't think I'll play it again afterwards, but... You know, obviously finding them helps. You can repair your shit and all that. Once a day, I believe, which reminds me. Oh, nice. Okay, did that just come full circle? Yeah. I don't think I can get into this room now. I think it's pretty fucked. Never got Fallout 3 to work for you? Kept crashing too much? Well, originally I played it on the 360. I know it had a lot of issues on PC, because it is an old ass game. It's actually... This year is its 10 year anniversary, I'm pretty sure. That's how old it is. But I played it on PC a few years ago, and it still it still worked pretty alright. But when I originally played it, it was for the 360 in 2007. When it came out. And obviously, like, it had its crashes, but it was console, so it didn't crash too much. I know PC kind of didn't really like Bethesda games that much in the past. Like, this game has so many glitches. <laughs> More so than Fallout 3, in my opinion. 
You should have seen some of the ones that were going on earlier. This room is just a pile of fucking trash. But it's got the riot gear. I don't think I need. I found this one. The advanced riot gear. That I guess I missed on my first playthrough. It was like hanging on a dude up top. I never really uh, got it before. Which was kind of cool. So, that's where I think I originally found the Riot Gear. I don't know if you get it in the base game or not. I know the NCR Troopers kind of wear it, but other than the Desert Ranger armor you get from, like, the... What's that one called? The one where you go to the canyon. Honest Hearts, I think. Other than that, I don't think you really get that looking armor in the game. I could be wrong. Or no, maybe you do get it, but you like, it says you're dressed as an NCR trooper. Which, you know, I, do, I wouldn't mind, but I don't really like being the parts of the faction. I like, I like the advanced riot gear, because like, you're not a part of a faction, it's just cool looking armor. Alright, well we made it through that explosive Reign of Terror. Gonna be more dudes going up here. Emulated, of course. Pick this up. I hear something growling. Those Deathclaw I were, was fighting earlier, were, they would kill me in like one hit. It's ridiculous. There's Elite Riot gear. Equal in terms of the Desert Ranger armor, but better. So better than the Advanced? I'm assuming you find it in this DLC somewhere then. It's pretty cool. Oh god, there's something behind me, isn't there? Uh. They're like fucking frog alien things. Don't go in that room. Don't go in that room, dude. I promise you, you don't want to go in that room. Hello? His head. I'm not quite sure why my... Uh... Weight is now 330. I think I might still be addicted to something. I am in fact addicted to something, even though the auto dock said otherwise. Maybe you have to like get an upgrade for it or something. That I don't have yet. I could be wrong. I don't know. Okay, earlier these things were like kicking my ass. Now they're like I guess they kind of are. I'm playing on hardcore, by the way. If you didn't know that. Or couldn't tell. And I don't have any mods. This is just like the vanilla Fallout New Vegas. I love how it's still losing health from the electricity, even though it's... Dead. Where did the other one go? Did it literally just tunnel underground and it's just sitting there now? All the pre-war monies. Pre-war monies for days. I'm, uh, I'm assuming if you're watching Fallout, you've, uh probably played mostly all of them, yeah. I'm, I'm curious as to if you liked or disliked Fallout 4. There was a lot of things I didn't like about Fallout 4. I don't know what it was, whether it was just like I grew up with these, or that like... I had too much nostalgia for these, that I didn't like the, the newer stuff they'd implemented in the game. But for whatever reason... They're, uh, they're like quick... 
The quick transfer system in Fallout 4, I didn't really like it that much. I liked the opening discs and searching through them, like, manually, kind of, which I know you can still do, but the game kind of forces you to do the quick transfer system, and I don't know, I felt like that was something that took away from the game, even though it's a pretty stupid thing to bitch about, but there was a lot about Fallout 4 that didn't really sit right with me that I didn't or, like High road, Ashton, tiny cracks in the earth nothing compared to the road carved ahead before you this is the edge of the divide ahead lies your work the history you burned in the earth what you brought to the people here all right, so now we got another U Ulysses dialogue section, which is going to take a while. So I'm going to kind of shut up and let him say his piece. Uh, what happened here? You delivered a package. Had markings that matched those in the divide. Not all, but enough. Military markings from some place the bear had savaged in the west. Maybe seeing those markings on it reminded you of home. Made you carry it. Uh, the, gu the gunplay was better, like the power armor feeling more, uh, but less like an RPG. Yeah, more just shooter. That's exactly, pretty much exactly that. That's the things I didn't like about it. I liked the gunplay a lot. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, the RG RPG elements were very lacking. And I just, I just lost interest eventually. And really haven't replayed it since, but I, I come back and replay this like every now and again and still kind of enjoy it. Although, now so that I'm kind of older, I mean, this package, I don't recall it. Some of the story in this is kind of, I don't want to say mediocre, but kind of cliche, if that makes sense. Um... It was from the West. But it's still good. I still enjoy it. It's still one of my favorite series. Made by them or not, it came here through your hands. It was a device, a detonator. One I'd never seen before. Or heard before. You carried that thing to the divide. I know because I followed you as you walked the road. Watched you do it. You brought it here the community you built and you are responsible for what happened after when the device opened started to speak when it did the divide answered back those missiles you've seen buried in their silos they exploded beneath the ground cracked the landscape sand ash the dead the divide skies became a graveyard so, if you saw this happen, then how did you survive? This package you said had markings, what was it? Machinery. Simple on the outside. Computer parts. Inside. More complicated. Was the only time I'd heard a machine speak in the divide. The only machine with a voice. Fallout New Vegas isn't perfect, but that doesn't mean it isn't great. Agreed. This this game definitely has a lot more glitches than Fallout 3, in my opinion. It has the moments. I enjoyed it for the time of it, but, you know, just kind of playing out the DLC I never finished to possibly lay it to rest for a while. I know a lot of fans really prefer this game over the others for a lot of reasons, but... In my, in my book, Fallout 3 is my favorite of the series. You saw this happen, how did you survive? But now that I know you live, the machines here saved me. I was the only survivor, or thought I was. Your package, the message inside, awoke medical machines, close to the one that shadows you, began to build themselves, then others. They only take what parts they find in the Divide, never roam beyond it. Can't even leave the silos without a human to shadow. Like hounds. 
Maybe they saw the flag on my jacket. Thought I was of America. If so, history saved me. A sign. So, I'm guessing... My, my thoughts on this is that, like, you know how at the beginning of you, the game you're, like, shot and whatever, and he's, like, kind of telling you you did this? Uh, this revenge is nearly killing you, then. Um, so, my thoughts on it is that, like, because you got shot in the beginning or whatever, like, possibly you did do this? Don't confirm me here, but my thought is that you did do this, but since you got shot, you don't remember it or whatever is what... I'm taken away from it right now. Not the name I give it. That's Not my current ide idea for yeah. this. Soldiers of the bear died here. Legion died too. My brothers still dying. Both of them all around us. None of the people that lived here survived. Yet all of the west and the east, they hold on as the divide tears at them. Revenge isn't the message I have for you. More than that, courier. Um, I'm not responsible for this. There's no way I could have known. Why would I have brought it here? You can't be sure it was me. Why did I bring I've him here? walked the east. You've walked the west. More than I have. Circle Junction, Reno, Vault City, word of you at Fort Aradesh, Fort Abandon, even further west than that, Brahmin drives on the big circle. Whatever you saw out there wasn't enough to make you stay. Maybe the markings on the package reminded you of the road home. Um. Oh, all right. Some uncovering some stuff. That's saying I'm not responsible for this. There's no way I could have known. If you had been there when it happened, if you had seen the divide break, you would know it. You carry death wherever you go. If the Mojave doesn't know it yet, it will. What happened here can happen again. You've already proved it. What you did in Ashton, the silo there. Uh, I had no idea the silo was active until the missile was in the air. Didn't stop you though. Like carrying the trip to Vegas. Old world death in your hand. Pieces of the old world like that just need someone careless enough to take them where they need to go to do their killing. I'm not to blame for Ashton, the chip, or the oh, divide. You walked. These packages that you carried. Think it wasn't your choice? Of course. It My was job, your man. Choice. You could have stayed in the Mojave. But you chose to come. Couldn't have let be. Not in you to let go. Came for no other reason than you were curious. Restless. Always have been. Had to know the why of it. Now, I'll show you. Uh, the why of it? You're not the one who needs to answer that. Why are you doing Want this? Want an answer of it. Not just history's answer. Your answer for what happened here. Uh, what happened here was an accident, and any anger you have, let it go. So you're angry because they accidentally brought an <laughs> explosive to the divide. Accident. Ignorance is a choice. The chip, a choice. Ignorance is most That's certainly right. not a choice. It is what I carry for the dead, and all that come here. The dead? You mean the Republic troops who were here? The soldiers of the bear. They were dead already. Their symbol, diseased. Deserved to die as my brothers did at Boulder City. Mines. Bombs. I carry nothing for them. Their deaths here were a mercy compared to the ones that still walk the divide. Man, a lot of a lot of dialogue. Uh, then what? Did the divide explosion kill your family, your wife, children? My family. My tribe lives. 
Its history died long ago, fell under the shadow of the bull, consumed by another symbol. No, this isn't about family or any common blood. It's blood shared by acts, not by chance. Um, if you're a legion, are you angry because I destroyed the divide supply line instead of you? The supply line, the artery for the west. I have seen the blood of NCR at legion hands many times. I carry no hatred for duty, if that's what this was. The divide was more than that. It's people more than that. Um, no, no, no. He's already. You think I'm responsible for this? My question is, what your ties? The police. That was once here, and the package you brought, both had markings of the divide, markings of America. You've seen the marks, the symbol, as early as the Hopeville silo, maybe. Carried it etched on your weapons. The divide, its buildings, its people, were built around those same markings, surrounded them here. Markings like the flag on my back when I followed a year road to the divide. Uh, years ago, I saw the symbol I wore all around me. An old world symbol. Strong to survive here. It's people strong. Outlast the bear. Outlast the bull. Promise of something better. Kaiser was right to want it dead. NCR was right to want to rake their claws in it. Seeing it changed me. Just the seeing Hoover Dam changed Kaiser and the NCR. Seeing it end changed me too. So, you believed in this place for what it was. If you cared about the divide, then I'm sorry for what happened here. All things come to an end. If you put faith in something outside yourself, tough. Uh... There was hope here. Another chance. A new nation stirring to life. A place I could have set my flag. Not the America of old, but something larger than the tribes of the East. Something larger than the houses of the West. Something better. The divide could have bridged both like Hoover Dam. Now, like the dam, it's too covered in blood to see what it could have been. You gave life to this place. I followed a year road here, saw the divide. You led me here so that I could see. Then you brought it to an end. And that's why you want me dead, so this is revenge then for destroying the divide. If this is why you're angry, you've seen nothing yet. Uh I'm gonna provoke him. My history isn't revenge or hate. The road that brought us both here isn't about that. It's about the message you carried. The one in that package, whether you knew it or not. The message that one can kill a nation, can kill a symbol, and all that gather beneath its flag. I don't blame you for the divide. I blame you for what you made me see. I blame you for the truth. You will see what you brought to the Mojave, and that will be my message to you. Uh, I don't understand what message. I really don't get it. Cracked and broken as the divide. It's people the same. I have walked at Kaiser's command across the east into the west, far enough to know Kaiser's word did not drive me, far enough to see the end. You've seen it. No courier 
Whatever their flag can ignore it. Why you didn't stay in the West. Why you wondered. There's no future in the bear or bull. The bear is diseased, barely clings to life. And the bull, when the legion reaches the sea, it will turn on itself and die. Rip. Killing one will end both. And you made me see how one could do it. Your ignorance, carelessness, can be used with a purpose. Um... You learned the wrong really? message. Who's to say the truth of it? You? No. You walked from this. Turned your back on it. Now you and others will answer for it. I'll start with the West. Let that burn. Then, if the East falters after, I'll bring the divide there as well. Burn away the flags. Begin again. Your roads are not done. Haven't walked it full yet. Not nearly enough. The way ahead and below leads to the heart of the divide. And there, you and I, we'll have an ending to things. Um, I'm not done talking, that's where I want to know. Can is my long, maybe long. Uh, I oh, mean... Once, long ago, and loud enough for history to hear. Tired of your messages. Fine. Still, <laughs> curiosity drove you this far. Let's see what else it can do. Um, you said you made a promise not to kill me? Why? I saw her orders. Sometime before, I realized the why of it. Wasn't just you. All couriers. No telling how many were legion. Maybe all of them. Wasn't sure about you until the divide. All the NCR burning. That much death. It bears the mark of a legion hand. But you killed like NCR. Like Hanlon. With mines, bombs, missiles. Killed Legion along with the bear, like a coward, kills from a distance. If you were Legion, then NCR beat you. The West changed you. Can't read that fast enough. I was never a Legion agent. What's our history? How do you know me? I knew all of you. Your name. Your road to and from the Divide. What that meant for the Legion. We never spoke. Knew you through your actions. Knew you'd walked the West as I'd walked the East. Learned different lessons. And I would never have discovered the Divide without you. Oh, we're getting there. Um... I want to talk about more of your recordings I found in the divide. You scavenge words. Things I have no need of. No history there worth recounting. Scour the divide. Claw at it for meaning. But my words will give you no answer. Uh, it appears that way. I've been collecting them, listening to you talk about history enough. Maybe I'll understand. They won't help you understand what happened here. And they won't help you understand me. Keep them. Listen. Study them. They won't help you here in the divide. Um. In your logs, you must have a tribe called the Twisted Hairs. Your tribe. Ace. Um. Logs, you mentioned the big empty. I had. Yeah. Did. It was madness. Ask them a question in anger. Got an answer. More than I expected. Answer told me what happened here at the Divide. The how of it. And that was enough. The tape has the telling of it. 
Don't need me adding to the questions already there. Uh, you want to record those messages? They matter to you. Maybe not. Who's to say? That before two. You, perhaps. Found them. Heard them after I cast them aside. Maybe there was purpose in that. If they matter. If history matters. We'll see at the end of the road. Um, the Good tribe. Years, dead, lost a dry wells. Died in Wolpus's smile. Won't discuss their fate with you. Not now. Their past is mine to keep. Walk farther. See me face to face. You might earn more. Now let the words keep you without me adding to them. Um, this canyon is miles long. Okay, fine. You've seen the divide. Walked it farther than I thought you would. Not sure how much farther you have in you. Not if there's more death claws. Answers. Speak. You've earned them. Even if only you and I can carry them from here. Um, I want to know about this package you I delivered. What it was. No, I don't. It had the symbols of America. I know that. New markings from after the Great War. Thought huh. it might be America come again. Promise of another future. Is it Enclave? Another flag. Oh, uh, what was it? It was a piece of machinery. Military. Holding memories. Codes, maybe. When it woke, made these sounds. Words. When it spoke, the divide became fire. The ground. Tore apart like the skies. Through it all, kept calling out. Maybe calling for home. Where is this package Made now? In the divide. Part of it now. Wherever it is, it's been silent. If it spoke again, we'd know. Interesting. What do you mean when it woke? Machine. Couldn't speak by itself. Needed a terminal to access it. Like the terminals in the silos here. Or the machine with you. When it was connected, it started speaking. And the divide answered. Um, there's more I need to know. I have the answers. I guess there's no more I need to know. <laughs> At the end of the divide. Through the trenches and wreckage. That's where you'll find me. It's American new codes activated dormant warheads. I kind of figured that's what I was picking up from it. I stole them straight from the president. Good lord. Okay. <laughs> so that was my that was my one stipulation about this is the fact that uh all of his like segments, like all of his talking segments, they're like 15 20 minutes long. That's it's just too much exposition for me. Especially to take in like all at once, but my theory to that is that, like, they just kind of ran out of development. Or, not necessarily ran out of development, but wanted to finish up the, uh, the game. To finish up the DLCs. And that's just kind of, they just kind of info dumped all of it all into one. So I'm assuming this is the symbol. Because, like, that's what I saw on the dude's back when I made the art for the thumbnail for my, uh, for the series here, the short series, which is interesting. All right, so I picked up on that. Cool. I guess now we uh, truck along. At least it wasn't as long as Old World's Blues Expo dump. Yeah, that one was pretty long too.
rip in peace. <laughs> oh, good. Now things are after me, aren't they? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna quick save right quick. Ready the quick save. Uh. Oh, something is attacking me. I'm not entirely sure what. Or where I'm going. Alright, I promise I'm not gonna scavenge. I promise. I lied. I straight up lied. Just there. Dad, ah, hey, Dad, ch chill out. Yeah, it was a different, it was like an American flag of sorts. I think it was the colonial flag, actually, or at least a remnant of it. Maybe Mom can fix him. I don't know, son. What if someone comes looking for it? Please. He looks so lonely. Maybe if Mom fixes him, he can help her out around the garage. <sighs> All right, boy. But if he breaks anything, it's coming out of your allowance. Yay! Oh. He'll be just like Ralph. Only this one's not a toy. Uh, yeah, robot stuff. Happy beeping. Illinois. What's Chica What's a Chicago? <laughs> what's a Chicago? That's the that's that's now the name of this episode. What's a Chicago? Damn! I just railed his head off. That was insane. How the fuck? Come on now! Did you see that shit? She threw it backhanded at me. Where'd you go? Lady? Dude? You look like a lady because you got the feathers. Die. Die, 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 die. Yeah. That's definitely what I like even more. Like, the fact that all this dialogue happens, and you're just like, you know what? Fuck it. It's time to just... ...stomp people's faces in for no reason now. Too long have I been listening to dialogue. It's time- it's go time, baby. I don't think I've- I don't think I came down this... ...the necessary right way. I think I could have gone over this way more, maybe? Either way, I have to go over here, but... Man, thanks for, uh, sticking around through all that dialogue, though. What was that explosion? I know that's a bit of a hassle sometimes. But if you're in it for the dialogue, you're in it for the dialogue, you know? Why are there just, like, mole rats chilling out over here? Or in some type of a duffel bag. Private Foster's personal journal. Alright, Private Foster. What's so personal about your journal, man? Think the Elite Riot Cure's in this region? Alright. I'll keep my eyes open for it. Um, for the most part, I've been like looking at every little area that I've discovered so far, but this does kind of look a little convoluted. Yeah, I think there's a part up there I missed. I'm gonna go back up there and get that. Assuming this is an audio log, maybe? I don't think it is. I'll read it, though, if you want me to read it. If you want me to read it, just say the word. If not, I'm fine with not reading it. First, I'm gonna go up here and get this. Oh, look at all that sunset sarsaparilla. My hunger level. Ah, uh, everything. Everything is everything. Stopping to eat every goddamn five minutes. It's just like real life. There, I should be fine. Okay, how are we doing on the good old stats? Perfect. Wanted to see if I have any more ammo for this. I don't. It's just normal. 
round. Something over here. What are you beeping about? Oh, a Ulysses log. There we go. Be back in 20. I mean, I don't know if I'll be around for that much longer. But you're more than welcome to watch the past broadcast. Or, uh... Check out all my stream archives on the Full Frontal channel. Or if you just want to come back and chill and talk by that point. If I'm still streaming, that's fine too. I don't know if I will be around for another 20 minutes, but it's possible. So you may you may catch the tail end of whatever I do. More MREs. Good, good, good. Um, let's listen to this Ulysses log while I trek myself back down the way I came up. It's just everywhere, isn't it? They couldn't post it enough places. They're just like, we gotta get it out there. Something is blowing up, like that's not frag mines. Did it. Probably not though, because it's gonna take a while to do what needs to be done. Oh, the accuracy on that is is really good. Throwing battle rifle. I think my arms are broken. <laughs> I think, just maybe, my arms are broken. was a correct assumption. Um, turbo? Yeah, fuck you. Now I'm addicted to turbo. Suffering from turbo withdrawal, just like that. I mean, drugs are good for you kids, but if you take too many of them... You never know what might happen. He's got a 12.7. Come on. Come on now. Shit all over it. Getting fucked up. This dude. Oh. I'm gonna die from that. Okay. 
What am I still getting hit by? Okay. That dude with his thing, and that guy appears to have... Man Marauder. That be a new. Ball? <laughs> Alright. Finally, a goddamn bed. Uh, I don't think I want to sleep there yet. Quite yet, though. At least. Because now we're just, we're really addicted to stuff. It's not looking good. It's not looking good for our health. We're full on addicted to drugs in a desert canyon. I guess I can kinda... Look back through, um... the rest of this now that the firing has stopped. I don't think I've ever seen uh, hollow point rounds for that. There's one 12 gauge round. Just add up all of the stuff. Stuff I don't really care about. Alright, trucking along. I wasn't actually planning to go much longer, but if I were to stop now. Oh my goodness, why? Why do you keep blowing up my goddamn arms? Well, anyway, so I was trying to say, I wasn't planning on going too much longer, but if I'd stop now, it'd be a short-ish video. So, it's okay if it's a little bit longer, but... Maybe not too, too much longer. Um, I don't think sleeping restores limb damage. I really don't, but I'm gonna go try. Just because I've got no reason not to. Sleep for 20 hours. Why not? In fact, did not restore any of my stuff. Figure. I need dirty water. Be good. For now, at least. Yep. So, I just gotta get through here with crippled arms. No problem at all. Oh, and there's a thingy, thingy merbobber exploder. Son of a bitch. Alright. 
go for it. Past the collapsed building. Well, we wouldn't have to deal with that if it didn't just happen, now would we? Dumbass game. Turn off running in here is the best idea against stuff with. Fucking. Oh! Well, there goes my leg and my arm. Shit. See, in later games, you can definitely, um, do a melee build. In this game, not so much. Because the minute you get anywhere close to them, you're already dead. So glad we saw that twice. So let's just snipe them out then. Fuck. A zero percent chance. Oh, come on. Broke my arms. Come on. Can do it. Why do I have low o low AP? That's getting me nowhere. Now they're just running out at me. Apparently, when I'm running around and getting hit by stuff, um, I can't access my Pip Boy. That being a thing, but it is. Jack shit to him. Yeah, this guy's just taking it like a champ. Power fist is indeed not the way to go. Not for this purpose, at least. Oh, nice, Edie. Was not aware you could muster up such strength, but... Suppose you can, huh? Tri-beam laser rifle. I do not remember him using a tri-beam laser rifle on. Store that. Um, should I use this? Yeah, let's let's use this. Maybe get through here unscathed. At all possible. Steady. I like that they're putting the flare guns in the emergency kit, but... Again, seems a bit unnecessary. pre-war money. Good, I'll take it. I haven't been finding any of those posters, I don't think. Pretty much just been skipping them, so... Fortunately, we won't be getting that achievement, but... As stated previously, it's not too big of a deal.
getting a lot of sarsaparilla now. Whatever reason. Bangs I don't care about. It, no! <laughs> well, certainly not. Alright. Um, we can do this. We can survive this. Promise. Stem pectected. Is that what it said? Weapons today. I just do one. Is that gonna be what I need? For the moment, at least. Anything else? Why was that even there? In case I tried to sneak around back. Uh. Well, that all wore off pretty quick. Dormaries don't actually do. Or, I mean, for my health. I don't know why I said food. Chances are, I'm just going to step on every mine in the known universe, because, uh... That is just how... Roll... Necessarily, um... Always avoid them, like you're supposed to, because I'm dumb. Or food... Surprisingly, like, doing good on not... Over-accumulating myself, I wonder... I'm wondering if that's just because I haven't been scavenging. Not too much, at least. Like, I am here and there, but I'm not, like, going out of my way for stuff. Man, there's a lot of just random, like, refrigerators and stuff. I guess he wasn't kidding when he said that people lived here in junk. There's a boss monster around here. That's not... That's not reassuring. But it's optional. Well, I want to do it. <laughs> Where is it at? Something keeps exploding. Something's up. He was like, if we knew it, then we would know it. I think I know it. You know? Chances are, if it's a boss monster, like a Deathclaw of some sort, I'm gonna die a lot to it. So... Be prepared for that. I should probably save, now that I've done that. Um, I've looked through every little type of crevice I think I can. Don't remember sure, but near waterfall, okay. Here's a nuke. may or may not have blown open a path. I'm currently just kind of searching around. Looking for stuff. And if there's anything I can't pick up. Oh. Upgrade. Manufacture small energy cells or microfusion cells once per day. I haven't really been using energy weapons too much. I think that just circles back to the beginning, yeah. I think I have to go through this cave next, yeah? Like that over there. Don't think there's anything else around. Uh, alright, well... I say that. If you have high explosives, you can make bombs and flamer fuel instead. Again, not something I've really been using. 
For the most part, I stick to, like, just normal bullets. And stuff of that nature. Wait, just a minute. I'm getting a whiff. I'm getting a whiff of something. I smell that armor. It's around here somewhere. Is it gonna protect my life at all? No. Does it look cool? Yeah. Whoa. It's possible. One of these holes or something that I actually probably can't fall into. Just looking around. Humor me a little. <laughs> let, let me make my own bad jokes. I think that's everything. I think I've went up there already. I went in here, yeah. I went all through there, I went up all through here. I didn't really check out this building that fell, but... Were you not just right behind me? I'm kinda scared. I didn't go up here. It looks like there's like so much area that you could potentially find stuff in. I wonder if this is almost a better mission to do, like, early on in the game. Like, not early, early on, but, you know, like, if you were replaying it and trying to upgrade stuff for the end of the game. I would imagine so. Third Street Municipal Building. Building. There's a, just a perfectly functional terminal. Yep. This is the stuff I believe. This is the stuff I believe that happens. It's just realism in the flesh. Coyote tobacco chew. There's something going on here. Whoa. It's a one of those freak things or whatever. I don't know why you'd want to play the game without that perk, <laughs> you know? Office of the Treasure Terminal. Never mind, many bosses further where you're in the building with leak got gears. I figured I smelt it. Treasurer's report. Stuff about words. Somebody from the political office should have kept an eye on those guys down at the water treatment plant. Uh, that's the third request for extra funds I've had to deny this month. Do they think uh, we're made of money? I swear. It's like they uh, want the communists to win. Uh, Inter office email. Attention all base personnel. Do not engage the protesters outside the construction zone. I know, I know. The presence of those freedom loving, no good nick fills. No good nicks? Okay. Fills my brain with the white hot rage of capitalist justice, but the political office um, has something planned for them, and you mooks better not screw it up. Memo from Commander Devlin. Attention all base personnel. We will soon play host to the, one of the greatest American patriots of our day, General Wesley's. Wellesley's, Wellesley's himself, from uh, those of you who have family trees, don't fork. Uh, the general is chief lies and officer uh, to the Big Mountain Research Facility. He and his team are uh, paying us a visit to collect our guests and take them someplace where they can do uh, some good for their country beyond sinking the... Pet -pet 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 what? Okay. We're shooting LSD, apparently. LSD exists. It's on the top floor. Going to the storm drain to get there. Okay. Good. 
I don't know why it gave me the, um... The mis What's it called? Mysterious Wasteland or whatever? Good lord. Probably want a gun out or something for this, huh? I don't know what was so mysterious about that, but... Oh! Oh god! Oh god, my favorite! Fuck you! Sorry for butchering that terminal. Needs to be double spaced if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh look, another uh, eyeball thing. Are the, the, those are just like auto installed, right? Like I don't have to do anything with them. Yeah, if you switch 3-8 wrench and the small drill weapons upgrade it will be easier. Okay. Um, You know, if you could strip the plasma relays on those energy cells, you can make flamer fuel. Oh, that must be what you were talking about. Uh, can't do that. Just barely. So... Shit. Was it? That wasn't too bad. Get out the big gun for nothing. Dirty water. Stuff and junk. Probably gonna get over accumulated here in a second. That kind of fucked with my vision a little bit. Almost felt like it was gonna fall out the damn building. Alright, so here it is. Sitting up here with a sniper rifle getting dranked. It doesn't look too much different from the... normal ass... one. Does it have a different... thing on its helmet? Have jack shit. The other one had the like the Ferrari logo on it. Oh yeah, they reply to the other ED. Yeah, look at this. This one has the Ferrari logo on it, <laughs> or like close to it. Well, I guess it does kind of look different, doesn't it? This one's like it's got tubes coming out the side of it. Alright, I mean, like, I like my Ferrari logo better, but, you know, cosmetics aren't necessarily a thing. Oh, damn. Cosmetics aren't a thing that's necessarily required. I can't repair it with it for whatever reason, so I guess you'll just hold on to it, ye old buddy, old pal. Somehow. Probably don't have the caps to repair it anymore at this point. Okay, so we got that, which I am considering the best armor in the game, which probably isn't. Probably the Ganon Tesla armor is probably the best, yeah. Or close to it. If you want to consider power armor. Out of today's physicians. We need another one of those auto docks. Actually, I think I can fast travel from. Should be able to. I think I did everything down there, so. Your personal favorite, second best medium armor in the game? Second best medium? What's the first best medium armor? Or am I, am I about to get it or something? I don't see how that would be the case, so... Alright, I'm gonna fast travel back to this auto dock. If I can find it. Temple... Keep the Abandon, the Courier's Mile. Sun Tower Roof. Tesla armor from Arcade. 
Is that medium armor? Or is that just the best armor? Because that's what I was thinking was the right one. In here, wasn't it? Past the courier's mile. I didn't do that. Might I need to do that? I think I might need to do that. Silo controls. This, isn't it? Huh. Interesting. Alright. It's in here. I think it was in here at least. Maybe not. Oh, there's a safe over there that I completely missed. Fucked. No. Don't go to Courier's Mile, it's very hard. But you can get a unique Bowie knife from it. I mean, I'm up for a challenge. <laughs> Probably not quite yet. I know there's still more I gotta do, but... You know, if I'm gonna check out this DLC to its end, I might as well do that at some point. Come on, you son of a bitch. Definitely missed it, right? I just want to see if it like cures my addictions and stuff because my weight is not doing too good. Where where was it that I I know it was one of these. It had to have been. Oh, maybe it's up here. Damn it. Yeah. Noise at the dentist. No, it doesn't seem to cure our addictions. You, mu you must need an upgrade for it or something. Okay, that's fine, I guess. I can go somewhere else and get that. I think I can travel back out of here. Just possibly something I'll do. Sell that. I guess I'll keep all that for whatever reason. Still, this. I don't know why you only have one MRE. But, uh, have you been eating my MREs? E. <laughs> That's the only answer I got for it. Man, he also got all this stuff that I'm gonna sell. Because, you know, why not? Bartering, yeah? I like to barter. Okay. Okay. That, I ain't ever gonna use it, so goodbye. Um... Actually... Ninety-five pre-war money? How'd I accumulate so much? Now to me, this is definitely one of my favorite parts of the game is bartering 
to the average viewer who's possibly glancing by and looking at you going through the menus, maybe not so much. Get rid of it all. Um... I don't really care if I go over, I guess. Let me see what else we can acquire. Oh, it actually sells right gear. What's it? Let's take that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And then so... I always like to just get as much caps as I can out of it. Just gear it all at. All that. Um. All that. Take even more. We're gonna ride the needle. How much is it per thing? I can't even tell. Doesn't matter. It's fine. It's perfect. Okay. Let me make a save. And see if... It restarts the money t every time uh, to leave it, so unlimited money, basically. I think you need to reword that <laughs> in a way that it will make sense to me, but I think I know what you're talking about. Okay, what I wanted to try. Let's see if this works. It probably won't. This won't function while you're in it. Probably won't work outside either, so. Pretty sure that's just never going to happen again unless I get the perk. I'm guessing I have to leave the entire area and then come back, possibly. The vice only works when you're in the exteriors of the Mojave Wasteland or Big Mountain. Certain locations in the Mojave will still prevent teleport, however. So let's... Go there. Because, I, I mean, I think I can f heal myself for free there, is why I'm doing that. If not, I'll just find a doctor. Because... Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, I gotta punch some wolves. Oh no. Oh no! Okay. Wolves have been punched. Oh! Oh! Or coyotes, whatever you want to call them. Coyotes are being punched. Machine automatically resets its money back to 600 caps every time you leave it? Oh, does it? I thought it had a certain... I thought you had to wait for like a certain amount of period like most vendors. I'm just gonna go punch some wolves real quick. I hope that's okay with you. <laughs> Just out of the blue, just I have a thirsty rage for punching some wolves. Coyotes, whatever. It's like, they're the same thing, right? Well, alright, they're not exactly the same thing, but... Get the point. Hey, settle down! Gold just chilling over there. Look at you! You're a big one! Ooh, she took two punches! <laughs> I can go fight this ghoul now, just... No reason. I don't know why there's a ghoul over here. Why is there a ghoul over here? I actually have a better idea, check this out. Whoa. Well, it didn't exactly get it, but it is now a pile of guts. 
And you gain karma from killing ghouls, apparently. Who would have thunk it? Why are there ghouls over here? I have no idea. So, oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> None of the textures over there are even loaded. <laughs> How far away it is. Oh, oh, what a damn shame. Hey, I know something just blew past my head, but... LOL? That's it. I think that's all she wrote. Alright, let's go get cured of addictions now, shall we? I think I can do it here. I remember being able to do it here. I could be wrong. Original spine. Stuff and junk. If you're planning to stay a while, I could see clear to giving you a once over. Um. I'm... And rightly so, I should think. All right then, let me just fire up the old interface for you. All implants, swap body parts. What does that mean? <laughs> Haircut. Basic physical exam. Do I play with companions a lot? Um, you should check out my first stream of this from a while a ago. I, I do. Over. But um, so I'm playing on hardcore, right? And well, such things ain't my specialty, but the ones in the regular game don't well. live long. I should make you aware that the benefits of such a procedure are exclusive. That the ones is, in the regular game, they don't like, they don't go unconscious. They just die. They straight up die. And uh, Rex got like absolutely destroyed. <laughs> what is this for? If you're Something. To stay a while. Concerned about the state of your mind, are you? Well, such things ain't my specialty, but I'm happy to tender my opinion as to your mental health. I should make you aware that the benefits of such a procedure are exclusive. That is, this only works once. Now, are you sure this is what you want? All right, just try to relax. This won't hurt, unless your sense of self is especially vulnerable. Oh, uh, this is just... Logan's loophole. What's that? No one's gonna put you out of your pasture because you're going to stay young and level 30 forever. And become addicted to chems and they'll last twice as long, but after 30, you can kiss experienced person skills goodbye. Apparently, this can't cure my addictions either. Or did it? It did. All right, we're good. Of course. Oh, I'm all the way back here. Stuff roaming the wastes as usual. We're gonna destroy now, or miss and hit a goddamn cactus. Another one. Just, just again. Is that everything? Is everything in my vicinity dead? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Oh, no. No, there's more. Alright. One less. I saw one more, but... Hey, hello, God! Jesus. Came out of nowhere. Ow. Fuck you. 
look at him. I think Doc sells some niche, niche or nice implants, niche implants. Yeah, I'm aware of that. <laughs> kind of like the uh, other ones you can get. Actually, you know what? I don't think I got all those quite yet. I'm gonna check it out. Hello? 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 If you're planning to stay away. Um. Apparently, I got all the other ones. I was thinking of the. What's I thinking of? The one chick who gives you implants. I think I'm. Maybe I did get them all already. This this place. There's always like a random ass Brahmin here too. Random ass mole rat. Which I will now take the liberty of killing for no reason. Is it the Brahmin? I'm just like jacking around at this point. I don't know why. Okay, well we put it down. I don't know what it was doing, but we put it down. So yeah, most of the companions I've got up to this point are already dead. And it finished my indoor garden at the sink? Probably not. <laughs> I that that one was a tough one for me. Like I really didn't like that DLC you too got, much, so as soon as I finished it, you? I was like, yeah, it's over. Alright, alright, you're healthy enough to handle an- Hey, I can't get more. What's this? That would be the Nemian subdermal armor. It's a bit pricey, 8,000 caps, but the implant causes your skin cells to be bolstered with iron. It won't make you bulletproof, but it will make you a little harder to injure. Have a seat in the auto dock. There we go. <laughs> I think that's what I wanted. I love this track, by the way, that's playing right now. From, like, the first two fallouts. Oh, all right. I just get all these. The nose. Have a seat. I just spent, like, 12,000 caps for no reason, but... I'm dehydrated as fuck. You have a sink around here, lady. Okay, okay, you do, but they don't work. Can I drink out of the toilet? No. Can I drink out of anything? Hey. Once you get it, though, it's a stem pack farm. Never have to worry about them again. By the way, the amount of implants you can get from her is a turn on your endurance. Okay, what is happening? Who's shooting what? Interesting. I didn't know. I pretty much just spent all my caps, so... Somebody just shot up something. You guys shooting? Shooting st just stuff. You just both went on your merry way. Who is this? It's just a fiend. What did he do? What has he done to you? All right, I need to find some water, and then we can continue what we were doing. I didn't want to do that. I did, but I didn't. I don't know why. It was like I have it. For some reason I thought it would teleport me back to where I was before. I needed to come here for drink. Drink, drink. Drink. Sink, drink. There we You're go. Back. It was getting lonely. It was getting lonely without you. Everything lonely. in this goddamn place talks. It was getting lonely. 
It was getting lonely with you. Helping. Like this is not helping. I have determined it's not helping. Uh, stuff. Oh, Twitch, why you be bad? What happened? Oh, okay, nothing. That was not Twitch's fault. This game has like you can turn off their personalities if you talk to the butler robot. Oh. Who is that? Where is that? A book shoot. Then here. Is it the mini Victor? Muggy? Lol. So confused. The one you sell your stuff to. Where do I sell my stuff? <laughs> I literally haven't been done this in forever. Where is it? I know what it looks like, I just don't see it. Is it that? It can't- no. I don't know. I'm hurting my own brain. Circles in the middle- Oh! Duh! I'm getting poked. Um, switch to sinks per- there we go. Is that it? Well done now? Aw, oh, sweet. Okay. Thank you so much for that. Good tip. I wish it would just drink automatically without problems. Okay, we good? Are we good? Is we good? Are we good? Is we good? One. <laughs> One more. <laughs> Alright. Get the hell out of here. Very annoying. I agree. I don't even know why I did that. The minute I, like, fast travel back over here. It's gonna be like, oh, you're thirsty again. More wolves? No. Punch. Can I eat all their meat? Ooh, we're eating good tonight. Maybe. Um, 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 um. Uh, I just hate having odd numbers of things. Coyote meat. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's get back to it, shall we? I don't know if I'm going to be streaming for too much longer, but we could possibly make it through another area or so. I don't really know how much is left. I figure I've got a little bit left to go. I think I'm more than halfway through, though. I do have the canteen. It's just, uh... It takes forever for it to use. Don't think... This is... Yeah, I've got- I've got every DLC for this, obviously. Well, I don't know if it is obvious. It's, uh... It pretty much comes with it. At this point, you know, you spend like ten, twenty dollars, you get it all. Which this game had a lot of good DLC to it. Same with Fallout 3, like 
Fallout 3 in this game was like my favorite amounts of DLC for any game. I can just go right up this pipe now. Not a problem. I'm a sting when it comes to my resources. Doesn't make much sense, but I promise you it can. <laughs> like, the number one thing about this game that's always been a thing for me is the fact that I like to scavenge just everything and hoard all my items. It's for no reason in particular. It's just how I operate. What was my favorite DLC? From this game or from all of them in general? Um, that was the 308 round probably hand loaded that would have destroyed most robots your size. This doesn't matter at all. Who is that? Pain beeping. Okay. That sounded bad, indeed. Scared beeping! Uh, no wonder you didn't make all in a barrow. I don't talk. I don't like play. So, I don't know if you've ever seen the trailer for this game. But, uh... It starts with this dude flying down the road, singing that song. And then he gets shot. That's the trailer for this game. <laughs> Pretty cool. They uh, worked that back around. Yeah, I just I just said that. <laughs> he typed that as I just said that. <laughs> I know, I know my shit. I'm not a complete fucking idiot. It's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> uh. So, all right, all DLC. I, so you're saying from like Fallout Three and New Vegas, right? Or are you saying, like, all DLC of all time? I'm just gonna go with Fallout 3 and New Vegas. Um... This one... All their DLC was okay. But... I didn't really like any of them compared to... The rest of of the ones from Fallout 3. In my opinion, the ones from Fallout 3 were a lot more thought out. So, but if I had to rate my favorite one from this game, it would probably be Honest Hearts. Because that was just cool, and it looked beautiful, and it tied back in with, like, the Legion and what was going on there. This one's alright. The one I'm playing right now. As far as Fallout 3 is concerned, however, I loved all of those. Like, Broken Steel was amazing. Um, I don't actually remember the other ones. I didn't really like the pit, now that I think about it. I didn't like the pit that much. Point Lookout was pretty good, because it was like a whole different area. It was kind of weird, though, and like fairly abandoned. Um. And what was the other one? There's Broken Steel, The Pit, Mothership Zeta, Point Lookout. I don't remember the last DLC for Fallout 3. Oh, Anchorage! Anchorage. Anchorage was pretty good. Anchorage was really good. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was now. I always used to do that one, like, right away, because it didn't really matter what level you were, and it was just cool, and you could relive what happened in Anchorage. Yeah, that one was pretty good, too. And, um... Yeah, Mothership Zeta was hard, but it was cool. Like, I liked all- I, I want to say I liked all of them equally. From Fallout. 
three. Actually, you know what? No. All of them equally except the pit. That's what I'm gonna go with. And I know they made Fallout 4 in um, Boston for whatever goddamn reason. I have no idea why. But, uh. Really thinking if they continue the Fallout series, we should see one in New York. Because we have not seen a New York Fallout game yet. That would be very interesting. It would probably be relatively the same, but I don't see why they wouldn't do New York at some point. Because you have to imagine that got hit pretty hard. Some way, shape, or form. Alright, so... I don't exactly know how long this cave is, but I think after this I'm gonna stop for today. And then I'll probably be back tomorrow with this again. And then when I finish this game, I don't know what I'm gonna do next. I'm also currently playing some other games you probably wouldn't watch. But if you'd at all if you have at all enjoyed me playing this, you you'd probably like other stuff I play. Except for like old fashioned games, you probably wouldn't like that. Th those don't seem to mix with people too very well, but... Lore says New York is basically a crater filled with super mutants and ghouls. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. But... Still. Would the same go for Los Angeles, then? Because they could totally do that as well. But that was kind of featured in the first two Fallout games, wasn't it? Oh my god, there's mountains of them. Hold on to your butt, Edie. We're going in hot. Oh no. Get away from me, you slimy little fucking cretins. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You hurt my Edie. Fuck you. Come on, you son of a bitch. Lay it on me. Yeah, that's right. Where's the other ones? Here they come. I leveled up. Welcome to the Legion, Mr. Mushroom Muffin. I'm gonna call you Mushroom. <laughs> Yes, welcome to the Legion. Once and officially. <laughs> You've actually stuck around a lot longer than most people have in the past. I don't know if that's uh, gonna be a recurring thing or not, but if at all... If I can be at all entertaining, I try to be. I was thinking of, I don't know if you're an Elder Scrolls fan, but, um, that remastered version of Skyrim just came out, and I was going to play through that at some point. I haven't done that yet. I, wanted to, I haven't played Skyrim in years. That was a Bethesda game I was going to check out. But like I said, I also play other stuff that you might not necessarily like, so... You win some, you lose some. Now we got an auto dog. After wasting all that time. <laughs> Just chilling out here. Like the Elder Scrolls, yeah, kind of figured. Them and Fallout kind of go hand in hand. What? Beeping about, you son of a bitch. It beeped for no goddamn reason. How long is this actually? I don't know. Like, I've never gone this far.
I imagine like, alright, next time I see like some overworld or something. Probably not loot all this. The door. Oh. Okay. Got like 20, 40 minutes left, maybe? Of this whole DLC? Alright. I'll probably cut it here then. Because I want to do this tomorrow. <laughs> I don't want to be it tonight, because then I'll have nothing to do tomorrow. Suddenly, a lot more things make sense. I wasn't really paying attention. God damn it. Is that what you're doing? Trying to find your way home? Uh. Yes, CD. I'm sure Ralphie the robot would be very proud of you. Yep. I'll do whatever I ha can to help get with through after you d we deal with things here. We've got to. Okay. I love his battle music. Great. On this bed. Perfect. Could probably save right in here, huh? Yeah, straight out into the divide. Alright. I'm gonna save here then. Thanks for watching, mate. Feel free to check out some of my past stuff if you want. If not, that's fine. Just trying to do. A little bit of promoting myself, you know. You know how it is, I would think. Alright, but thanks very much for watching. Streaming for like five hours <laughs> at this point. Hope to see you again soon at some point. And again, if you don't like the other stuff I play, I understand. Not a lot of people do, but by all means. I will see you later. So, uh, bye. Bye, bye, bye. This music glitching out because I didn't quit the game. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 bye. I still need to come up with some type of cool outro, but bye. <laughs>